Hi, I'm Tom and in this tutorial for FreeCAD I will show you how to create openings in walls such as this one where I have a structural model and I want to create opening for a door but without a door. I'm using FreeCAD 1.0 in this tutorial. So I have this starter file, a structural model and I want to create openings into these elevator shafts which uh, there will be doors placed there later and I want these openings to be 1500 millimeters wide and 2200 millimeters high. There are two options how to create openings like these. I will show one here and one here but first I will hide the columns and I will also hide the slab so I have got just this wall and the first option is to use the door or the window tool. So I will use the door tool and as I fire up the door tool uh, here we have a preset options and I will change it from simple door to opening only. And this creates just a plain opening. So now I can place the opening and I will turn on my snapping on and I will snap to this bottom left corner and I have placed an opening here. If you want to know how to work with doors and windows you can uh, watch my tutorial where I explain that. The link is in the description box below. So here I will follow up quickly. So basically this is the opening so I will select it and I will change the placement, the position in the x-axis I want to move the bottom left corner minus 650 millimeters and I will also change the I will also change the width to 1500 millimeters and you can see that the opening is changing and also the height to 2200 as I said previously so the opening is created and you can see that it's parametric and it's easy to move it or change the opening dimensions. So this is the first method but uh, I will also show you a second method which is not that simple but it is more flexible because it allows you to create any shape of the opening. The door and window tool only enables you to create rectangular opening. So I will use the second option here and I will create a solid uh, which has the shape of the opening and then I will remove it from the wall. So first I need to create a footprint of the opening and I want to create it on this face so I will turn on uh, my grid so I know where my working grid is and I will select the face and change the working working plane to that face and I do that by selecting the face and then clicking this button current working plane and it has changed the working plane to custom and you can see that it has changed the working plane to this face. So now I can look from the rear and here I will draft a footprint of the shape of the opening. So I will make sure that I've got snap working plane turned on and I will turn on rectangle tool and I will snap to this bottom corner and then move my cursor and here I'm inserting local x and local y dimensions. So local x will be 1500, I will hit enter, local y 2200 and hit enter and z is zero hit enter and I created this rectangle which is placed in this working plane. So now I can move the rectangle so I will use the move tool and move it from here to straight to right 650 millimeters hit enter. So now it's located correctly but it's only a rectangle and I want to create a solid out of it. So when having the rectangle selected, I will fire up the BIM extrude tool. And here I will 
extrude because the depth of extrusion is not that important so I will check symmetric to both sides and I will type in 1000 so I'm sure that it's more thick than the, than the wall and I will hit OK. So here is my extrusion and you can see that it's cutting through the whole wall. So now I will select the extrusion and then with control select this wall and now I will use the arch remove tool, the remove component and this removes the extrusion from the wall and you can see the wall is here and the extrusion is this one. So the opening is created. If you wanted to edit the opening you would edit the shape of the rectangle so uh, or the shape of it could be other shapes it could be circle it could be polyline any anything can be edited. So if I change the length to 1000 and height to uh, 2000 you can see that the opening adjusts automatically. I could also use the move tool and move the move the rectangle this way and you can see that I'm moving the opening so it's fully it's fully editable. Now the last thing that I will show you is that the base of the extrusion can also be not a draft object but it could be a sketch object. And how do we do that? I will create the door opening on this other side of the shaft. So I will select this face and make the working plane aligned to this face. So I will click this custom and you can see that the middle of the face is now also the, the starting point of the, of the working plane. And now if I fire up the sketch tool it automatically aligns to the working plane so it aligned to the one that I had there and here you can see the you can see the center. So here in the sketcher I've got all my sketcher tools available so I will create a rectangle like so and now I want to constrain it and I want to constrain it to this line uh, but to be able to constrain it to that line uh, I have to be able to use it in my sketch so I have to import the geometry of the line so I will use this tool create external geometry and I will click this uh, this actually I can use I can use this line uh, and I imported it and now I will uh, constrain this point to that line which is now imported into my sketch. So I will use this const constraint coincident, click the point, click the line and now uh, it's up to the basically floor. So now I can constrain the height so I will select this line, use the dimension tool place the dimension here and the height will be 2200, click OK. I will constrain the width, so this is 1500 and I will also constrain uh, the, I want it to be from the center of the wall to, oops, yep, to this point. I want it to be half of uh, 1500 which is 750, hit OK. So now the sketch is fully constrained. Uh, what I usually do, I don't like to leave the external geometry inside of the sketch because it might break things later. Uh, so I will delete this line which was created out of the external geometry so I will select it and delete it. Now I've got one degree of freedom so maybe I may constrain it from this line to this point and leave it like so. So now the sketch is fully constrained. So now I can close the sketch so I will close it and uh, you can see that the sketch is created here and now we will proceed as previously. So while the sketch is selected I will create the extrusion make it symmetric, uh, the length will be 1000 millimeters, 
so you can see the extrusion is here and I will select the extrusion select the wall and remove the component from the wall and you can see that the opening is created here now I will change the working plane oops I will change the working plane to top and uh, if I wanted to change the the position or the size of this opening again I will go and look at the extrusion and enter the edit mode of the sketch so I will double click it and here I have it so I can change the width to 1000 millimeters and then I would also have to change this one to 500 click close and you can see that the opening has changed its size. So these are three basic methods of creating an opening in a wall. If you like FCB lounge tutorials, consider supporting the channel by donating either through Ko-Fi page or through the YouTube thanks button. The link to the Ko-Fi page is in the description box below. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.